Greeting fellow humans. So here's something super weird and totally awesome. The third eye head attachment system. It's a super simple wearable device that have a round display placed in front of forehead. The ESP32 is being used to drive this round display and I'm using Adafruit's Uncanny Eye sketch in this project. The goal here was to make a third eye just like Ten Shinghan from Dragon Ball. Now this project was made by using the round 240 by 240 LCD screen that uses the GC 9A01 LCD driver and I'm using the ESP32 to drive this display. But you can use Arduino or any other microcontroller or microprocessor board like Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Pi Pico in fact. Yes, an Arduino can also be used to drive the display, but it's better to use a much powerful device to drive display related project as it would provide much storage and processing power. This video is gonna be about the whole build process of this project. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. For making this project, we need some kind of frame that will be used to hold the display in front and also houses the ESP32 in the middle somewhere. This frame has to be made in such a way that it firmly hold the head and keep itself locked in its position without adding any elastic string or cord. Frame or highly edited headband consists of the main arc shape that has four holding levers for supporting and gripping the front and the top part and the backside part of the head. This is one of the four holding levers and it's made up of two parts, the lever itself and the supporting part. These lever can easily rotate if the user head is a little bit larger. He can adjust the fitment by rotating the lever according to his head. In front, there's an LCD holding part that is designed to hold the round LCD by using its two screw mounts. Also, this structure is designed by using a normal size head file. After completing the design, we 3D printed the arc along with four levers and their supporting part with white PLA at 20% infill through a 0.8mm nozzle. Any material can be used to print these. I would recommend using PLA with a lower nozzle size like 0.5mm or 0.3mm for finer prints. All the files related to this project can be found on its page, link is in video description. We start the assembly by first connecting the lever with its support part by using an M3 nut and bolt. We prepared three more lever support setup so we can assemble them with the main arc. Next, we connect the lever support setup with the main arc structure by using slightly longer M3 nuts and bolt. The frame is now ready. Next, we prepare ESP32 and LCD setup by connecting them both with the following wiring diagram. I also added the LCD holder to the round LCD before the main assembly even started, just to save time. We first start by connecting the LCD holder with the front side of the frame. Next we add ESP32 in the middle by using a zip tie. After that we use Kepton tape to neatly bind the wires to the frame body. Zip tie can also be used here, just make sure not to squeeze wire tightly or they will get damaged and lose their continuity. The third eye setup is now ready. Next we add code into the ESP32. As for the sketch, I am using the famous uncanny eye which was made by Adafruit. The code contain hex file and CPP files that are all on the projects page. This sketch uses TFT ESPI library that you need to download and install first into the Arduino IDE. Also if you are using ESP32 for the first time, you also need to install its core files by putting this link in the preferences option in the Arduino IDE. This will be the result after adding the code to the ESP32. As you can see, there's a different uncanny eye displaying on the LCD screen. 
That is because uncanny eyes contain bunch of other eyes that we can switch by changing the below code in the configuration file. However, you will need the hex file included in the sketch folder before uploading the sketch. This is it for today folks. If this video was helpful then hit that subscribe button or leave a like or a comment or subscribe. All the files related to this project can be found on this project page. Link is in video description. This is it for today folks and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.